The mass shooting in Atlanta where eight people dead, including six Asian women, raises the narrative to anti-Asian violence. No ethnic group should be the target of such obloquy, of such racism, of such opposition from the White House. Dr. Leung, a Tower Center fellow, is an advocate against AAPI discrimination. Calling the coronavirus, the Wuhan virus, Chinese virus, and Kung flu. There's the blame shifting to China and things Chinese. Anti-Asian racism and violence in America is not new. An upward of 2 million adults are affected by anti-Asian hate and 10% of the AAPI community experience hate crimes and hate incidences, according to recent studies by SurveyMonkey and AAPI data. I spoke with Assistant Dean of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion, Erica Fidel, on the AAPI community in a panel that she hosted. In recent years, all of the racial tensions that have been going on, the murders, the attacks, it's just unacceptable in society that we live in for this type of behavior to continue and we cannot condone it. Judy Wang, a real estate agent and panelist, shares her experiences of racism. And a lot of times that people make fun of how our language sound and how we talk, this is offensive. And just because they don't know or unfamiliar. One of my friends, when she was younger, she was chased after school because she didn't speak English at the time. And later, someone told them that her father knows Chinese Kung Fu and her father really didn't know Kung Fu. So you see how discrimination is really a matter of perception. 